welcome everyone. For those, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm John Kugler. I'm going to be our uh, director here. Um, there's going to be more of me on stage over the next two days than probably most of you can bear. Um, but hopefully we're all going to have some fun. Welcome to the, uh, to the symposium. As you can see from our first slide, um, there's a couple big messages there that I want to make sure we get across. The first one should be pretty obvious for most of you. Um, we're here today to make sure that we all learn some skills. What I mean by that is for many of you, this might mean that you walk away with some slightly improved technique in doing your physical exam skills. But my hope is for all of you that you're going to walk away from this symposium feeling a lot more confident and a lot more capable to teach physical exam skills. The other piece that I really want to make sure we get across is this other big message is building community. We hope that we have something to teach you here, but we also know that there are many of you who have been at this for a long time as well. We know that we need to make those connections and what we really want to learn from each other over the next two days. So we're really looking to all of you for input. There's going to be lots of chances to practice and lots of chances to get to know each other. On that same note, for those of you who came in pretty get big contingents, and there was a number of universities that sent a lot of you, which is fantastic. You may be disappointed if you look on the back of your badge that you're actually going to be at different table numbers. Um, that was on purpose. Um, we, we actually had a very long discussion about that. Um, and the idea is really part of that building community theme. We want you to actually meet some different people and not just talk with folks that you already know. Um, I know it's a little social engineering, but we really do want to make sure that all of you leave here with new names, maybe some new friends, certainly some new colleagues that you can collaborate with in the future. That's a big message that we're going to have over the next two days. Um, a couple other important housekeeping messages before we get started. First and foremost, bathrooms. If you haven't already found them, you're going to go out those doors, OK? You're going to make a right, then you're going to make another right, and the bathrooms are on your left. They're sort of straight through there, if I could dive through that wall, if you haven't found them. For people who want to get on the internet, if you look on the back of your badge, there is a little sticker there with very fine print. Um, which will walk you through how to get onto the, the local Wi-Fi here. Um, if you have some downtime, just to let you know a little bit about the building that you're in right now, this is Stanford's, uh, the, we call it the Lake Hashing Center. Um, it's our fairly new medical school. Um, and if you go down the stairs, there's a bookstore at the bottom. Um, and if you go out uh, past the bookstore and you make a hard right, and there's this really nice uh, discovery walk where it goes through a lot of the discoveries that have happened at Stanford. Um, and, it's a nice walk for the middle of the day if, if you have a little bit of downtime. Uh, last couple things that I want everyone to know about. Um, there's going to be some people walking around with microphones. We're actually doing a podcast while you're here. We're really going to be talking about the intersection of technology and how that relates to the, the patient-physician interaction. And so if someone asks you to do a quick interview, um, if you're willing, please oblige. Um, later, uh, later on in the afternoon, you might also see some cameras walking around, just getting people's feedback for what they think of the symposium. Um, and so if someone taps you, don't be surprised if there's a camera there. Um, if you're willing, again, we'd love to hear your comments and your feedback. A couple other things that I'm just really excited about, back on the building community uh, piece, is just how diverse a group all of you are. So this is our map of the US. This is, um, this is what we ended up getting. So we have people literally from all over the country here, which we're really, really excited about. We weren't sure if this was going to be more of a Bay Area affair, um, but we ended up getting people from everywhere, which we were really excited about. What we were a little bit surprised about as well is that we got people actually from all over the world. Um, I think that the US numbers are slightly out of date. We got a couple more US ones in there. Um, but we got people from all over the world. I'm seeing someone laughing because there is one person from Australia, quite far away. But, um, but the Far East, people are coming from all over the world. So we're really excited. Um, I think that's going to be a really nice chance to, again, not only build community, but to hear how things are being done in other places. So with that, I'm going to invite up on stage um, our chair of medicine here, Dr. Bob Harrington, who's just going to say a few words of welcome. So thanks, John. And uh, maybe before we get started, you can give a real rousing uh, round of applause for John Kugler and his work, his bedside medicine team. So first off, uh, as John said, my name is Bob Harrington. I'm a cardiologist and the chair of medicine here. And uh, we want to welcome you to Stanford campus. 
I think that this is uh, really the best of Stanford, which is to use creativity and innovation to, uh, to teach. I don't know how many of you noticed before you came in here the name of this hall on the second floor of the uh, LKSC building. It's the Paul Berg Hall. Do any of you know who Paul Berg is? A few hands raised. Paul Berg won the Nobel Prize for discovering recombinant DNA, and uh, Paul is still an active member here of the faculty, well into his 80s, and uh, meeting regularly with medical students and is passionate about the subject of teaching. But there's another reason I ask you if you looked around. Did you also notice that beautiful sculpture hanging from the ceiling? So we are in a building which is uh, dedicated to science, but is also a building which takes the intersection of science and the humanities quite seriously. And I see the next couple of days, as John said, as really helping all of us think about that intersection of science, technology, and humanism which is really what makes medicine what it is, as opposed to pure science what it is. And I'll add along to John's uh, tour guide um, activities that if you have a chance to go out and stretch your legs, less than a five minute walk from here is our beautiful uh, art museum on the campus that also includes an outdoor Rodin garden. So you can see that as you roam around and uh, really see this intersection of engineering and science and medicine and art. I think it's a really important statement on campus and really in some ways symbolizes why this course is so important to us here in the Department of Medicine. So enjoy your time here on campus. You'll notice in a bit I'm going to step out and it's not because I'm going to do the usual awful things that chairs do, but I'm actually going to my cardiology clinic and uh, so uh, I'll be going off to see patients the rest of the day. So enjoy your time here and we look forward to hopefully helping Abraham, John and others build this community and see many of you here back on campus in the future. So enjoy your time here. Thank you. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.